We're talking about knowledge of the future in movies, and in this clip, I'm going to share some things from Clockwork Orange, 1971. The opening scene of Clockwork Orange, I just watched the first 10 minutes of this movie the other day to try to see what I could find in it, and um, yeah, I was really surprised at what showed up. It looks like they're showing events from around 2002. 2003, this is a major world happenings. The Iraq War uh, is mentioned, I believe, by way of um, the characterizations. There's a um, costume head on the stage in this uh, fight scene between the two uh, street gangs. Yeah, another thing I noticed uh, was that uh, the movies of the Wachowski brothers who did The Matrix in 99, uh, uh, this seems to be another theme they show in uh, Clockwork Orange. I was thinking about the different things they show and I realized that there's another um, major revelation here. And this may have something to do with the future. Okay, in the very opening scene, they're in this milk bar, and a uh, uh, word of caution, uh, there's some uh, nudity involved. Uh, Clockwork Orange is an adult movie, and uh, you know some of the stuff in here, it may be um, disturbing uh, to some viewers, uh, so just a word of warning. And there are these uh, statues he called them art pieces or something, uh, and they're, they're statues of women. And uh, I, start, I thought about this for a while, and I come to this realization. If you look at the statues, um, the shapes, they're very close uh, to uh, the human form. And they almost look like a type of uh, mold of like a, a real woman. And, uh, and I started thinking about this, and I realized, yeah, this is what they're talking about. It's, uh, it's some kind of mold. And then the, the other thing about this scene, they're drinking uh, milk. So, uh, you know, this is an item that uh, spoils easily. You take into account uh, the comic book links uh, with the Wachowski brothers. I think Malcolm McDowell in this movie, uh, he looks a lot like uh, Tobey Maguire who was Spider-Man in the early 2000s. And that seems to be uh, the area in time where uh, this film uh, centers on early 2000s, 2002, 2003. So you got uh, this concept of mold. And this will tie over uh, into the Marvel Universe is through the Master Mold. Uh, this is a, an item in... Um, Master Mold is a, is a villain, uh, it's a factory that produces robots uh, called Sentinels. And this is another connection to the Wachowskis and the Matrix. The Sentinels are these, um, the guards, the regulators uh, in this, uh, cyber, uh, this cyber physical world. There's a possibility that... I believe that the Wachowskis may be involved in some um, future comic book movie. It could be X Men, uh, could be X Men, Spider Man, uh, could be some kind of uh, crossover between DC and Marvel comic book universes in a movie form. And uh, you can see uh, there's a guy here who looks like Robert Pattinson. He's Batman in um, 2021, so this may happen um, in the se next several years. Uh, another theme I thought about watching this, and this is based on what I just talked about, and this is the theme of Master. And um, yeah, this seems to be a, like a key word, apparently. Uh, if you go to the, the scene where... There's the, the gang fight in the theater. Um, there are these heads, okay? And this, this is a key word that may cross over into several different um, areas. Um, in the Transformers 
universe. This is a Marvel comic book also. There are these uh, headmaster uh, robots, uh, Transformers. Um, Doctor Who, I've noticed, uh, you know, some of these actors in this movie, they have links uh, to Doctor Who over the years. Uh, John Sim was the master in Doctor Who. If you go to Eyes Wide Shut, which was a Stanley Kubrick movie in 99, there in the, in the final scene of this movie, uh, Sidney Pollock and Tom Cruise, they're having a discussion. And uh, there's a large uh, model ship in this uh, scene. So, mast, this is a, a part of a ship, sailing ship.